Starting my day off, I was about to go to W9 and get everything cracking, and somebody hit the freaking ambulance. That is crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is crazy. It's been over, over two weeks since I've driven my truck. I didn't do anything to it. <clears throat> there were things I wanted to get done, but um, things I had to do, you know, uh, start getting the rest of the fleet up and going and uh, <clears throat> getting things in position. I had to move some trucks around different shops and just a lot of other things I had to take care of. Um, so I kind of got those in place, not all the way settled, but got those things handled got them in place but it's been a rough one i'll tell you that much but your eyes are seeing this thing it's covered in filth right now it's got all the dust and dirt from just sitting in this yard i'm gonna i got a few things i gotta work on the day before i um i'm gonna pull it out of here today i got a few things i want to work on first and then um get the thing out of here um but yeah, I've missed this truck, buddy. I'll tell you that much. It's been a rough two weeks. I gotta go pick up my fender. That's why I got I got the, the wife's car. I use her car to go pick this the other fender up today. And um just kinda get get back serious on this truck. Um kinda just been been so busy with everything else going on. We bought we bought a house here just a couple about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and that's been crazy. It's, it's been a lot going on, but now it's time to get back cracking on, on, on this thing and uh, a couple other projects. So I've missed it though. It's it's covered in just dirt. I can't even wait to grab my first couple gears and I'm gonna probably be screaming and hollering, but you know, I'll never let my truck get this dirty. It's dirty. It's dirty all the way up top and everything. It's gonna probably take two washes to get it, get it the way I like it. I went and picked up me some some fresh mat for uh, mud flaps. So I'm gonna redo all the mud flaps. I'm gonna redo this flap, and then I'm gonna redo the flaps on the back of the trailer. Get some hangers. I had enough of my boys coming up to me, and be like, "Man, why don't you put nice mud flaps on this trailer?" Well, the reason why I hadn't put nice mud flaps on it is because it had nice mud flaps on it. Really, really nice mud flaps on it. They had the big Great Dane. We took the, you know, the big, I, I had bought some extra, uh, they're not on, on there, but the, the dog, the Great Dane dog, I had those on the back of here, on the back of rubber ones with, uh, with the, and, uh, had them on there for a while. Trailer hat used to have side skirts on it and everything too. But some people just don't care about your stuff as much as you do. I'm gonna just say that. That's all I'm gonna say. And uh, this trailer was actually, like I said, I, I bought this trailer for this truck for the W9. And like I said, this is the third trailer I bought for the W9. I bought this one first, because I was gonna customize this one. Then I had bought this one, and then I bought the stainless one. And so, but anyways, this one ended up being with my Volvo, my winter truck, and had that just sitting in my yard, you know, nice trailer nice truck you know it was my winter truck it was a truck i would drive when this would go off into the shop and get stuff done to it and uh <clears throat> i let a driver use it he liked it he wanted to ride it he had it for about two weeks and just messed all types of stuff up just all types of stuff so he messed up the side skirts first week then was it like a week or two later that's when the uh start having other issues so but anyways i got a lot of things i gotta knock out today um go get this fender gotta work on some lights it's just gonna be a long day I'll tell you that much i've been having a short in my clearance lights and i've been trying to chase it down so finally today i just took them all out and checking all the wire underneath and i think it's something to do with that because now 
it would come on for some period of time and then it shut off and they haven't shut off at all since I taken them out. So we'll see if this uh, resolves that issue. Ugh, it's covered in dust right now. I gotta go grab the fender next, but I'm trying to fix those clearance lights. I'm trying to put some sleeper airbags on the dang thing. And then I'll eventually head to Blue Beacon and wash this thing. Oh, I wanna do a PM on it too. I need to take that panel off because he's going to weld that panel too because it got cracked. So, yeah. It's a welcome back day for sure with the W9. That is for sure. This thing is just dirty. Covered in dust from sitting in the yard. But, let's get to it. This is the craziness it takes to change the sleeper airbags on the W900. I had to jack it up. Man, my... So changing these, uh, changing out the shocks and the airbags on this thing, just getting this thing all ready to go. All new stuff. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But while we're getting this done, my boy came over to holler. Look at this pretty thing. Oh uh, yeah wait to be driving mine it's gonna be two we're gonna be riding around together it's clean as all can be I think it's beautiful Well, got down putting the sleeper airbags on and the shocks on. Truck is sitting up nice and high, still perfect, just the way I like her. Come back, hook up to the reefer. You know, like I'm gonna take the reefer over to the shop because I cut some fresh mud flaps. Work on it over at the shop. You know what? I'm a before I do that, I'm gonna blow it out. But I want to turn it on, let it cool down. You know, before I head over, turn it on, hook up to it, start hooking all the air lines up to it. Starter don't want to start. So now I'm ripping the starter out and about to run to go get the dang starter. Trucking ain't easy, I'll tell you that much. You know, but you got your good days and your bad days. This one I'm okay with. I'm not rushing to pick up a load right now. So I'm like, I'm trying to get every little thing, little knickknack done that I want to get done before I take up out of here. Yeah, well, had to wait till this morning to go to Carrier to go get this starter. Um, I'm gonna order the next one off of Amazon or something because uh, this inflation stuff is unreal. It was wrapped in all types of Chinese writing and all that. Like this looked like something I could definitely just have ordered off of eBay or Amazon. I mean, it's it's a quality part. It definitely looks like a quality part, but they charged me five hundred twenty-five dollars for this damn starter. Five hundred and twenty-five dollars. I mean, I ain't never paid that much for a starter. Honda starters are expensive. <laughs> You know, Honda alternators are expensive, but not this expensive. 525, wow. I also bought um, the oil and oil filters for the truck. We're going, we were gonna try to do a PM today, but I don't know, I can't find the oil I want. So I might just keep the filters and uh, just have TA knock it out for me had to go to Peterbilt to get the filters like crazy nobody has nothing in stock 
And when they do get it in stock, they want to charge us an arm and a leg for it. It's a different world we living in out here, people. Well, let me get this startery so I can get, get this cooling down and fixing things on this trailer and truck. Yeah, we done cut up those mud flaps. Get ready to sign, get them all cut up or drilled up, mock them up, put them on the trailer. But I got these Road Works ones. Let's see how these bad boys look. Because I wanted, I wanted something with a backing. When they don't have backing, they, um, they break so easy. And it's got a big staple in it. Hold on one second. All right, got the staples pulled back. Some hardware. Okay. Got some backing plate. Yeah. Yeah. Check that. Check that length real quick. I like them long like this, but when they're long, you tear some stuff up. I'll tell you that, well, not really tear stuff up. You end up getting them caught up a lot. Of this is day number three. Doing stuff, fixing stuff, getting stuff right. Just, I mean, it's crazy. It's been some, a lot of little things I've been wanting to knock out on this truck, and uh, just kind of just finally just taking the time and getting it right, getting it ready. Um, got a long way to go, man. Long way to go, but just gonna take it one part and one day at a time. Finally, uh, got to go pick up some more bolts and stuff. My, my cover back on my rear cover. It's been off for a while. It's been just been sitting in the storage in there because um, I had to have it re-welded and reworked because I had uh, bent it really bad right here. So I had it metal worked and then just never had a chance to put it back on. So putting it back on and uh, getting it ready to go. Mama Bear finally rolling up to pick me up. She been, went to go drop our daughter off and she finally rolling up on me. <laughs> All right, let's go get these parts.